Hello, Ski World. I'm Jeff with Shaggies, and I'm going to take you on a quick video tour of our small ski factory. If you can't make it to one of our open houses or a tour, just watch this video, and you'll get an idea of what we're doing here and how we make your skis. So let's come on in. We're going to go all the way to the back where we make our wood course. So we actually just walked through the space where we bring in bunks of lumber. But essentially back here, we take rough lumber and we turn it into ski core blanks. So this right here, this is what we're making in, in this whole area. Um, this is called a ski core blank. This is a blend of ash and aspen for our Mohawk 98s. We have solid ash cores. We've got ash and poplar cores. And then we can do custom layups for our uh, cores for any ski. Right from the beginning, we take rough lumber, we plane it to a specific size and get it all finished. Then we cut it up into little strips. They're put into different bins, and these bins have uh, flex associated with each core, or with each strip. This one is gonna be a little bit stiffer than this one, and we're gonna go through and we're gonna take seven strips of wood, and we're gonna make a symmetrical ski core, starting from the inside out. Ski core A and ski core B are gonna be the exact same, and they're gonna live together for the rest of their life. So instead of, like I said, matching at the end, we start at the very beginning and we match all the lumber to be the same stiffness throughout the ski, symmetrically, left to right, and from one ski to the next. And then, those, like I said, those they live together. They're, they're mates for life. Um, and then they go to become a pair of skis. So we do that, start at the beginning. Once we get everything processed, you can actually look over here. You can see some of our ash and poplar cores. We're constantly making these. These go into our Amiks, they go into our Brockways, Bells, and Medoras. So a lot of skis are gonna get an Ash and Poplar core. Um, so we make lots of those. It's a really nice blend. The Ash is, is stiff. It has the longest and straightest grain of any of the lumber that we use. It flexes over and over really well. Um, the downside to it is it's a little, it's a, it's a heavier wood. Um, so we blend that with either poplar or aspen to reduce the weight. The aspen and, and poplar are still good woods for skis. They're just not quite as snappy. Um, so when we blend those two, we're able to do weight savings and still have the snappiness of ash. So once we're done with that, we're gonna load that onto our CNC machine here and we're gonna hold down these cores with vacuum grids and then we're gonna machine the thickness. So we're gonna actually cut down, we're gonna taper the tip thickness it's going to get wide or it's going to get thicker again underfoot and then it's going to get thin at the tail we're also going to cut out the shape of the core and what that does i mean essentially we're going to start making the flex profile of the ski and make the shape to get ready to attach sidewalls to it so there's a lot of hand finishing that goes on but in that machine we're also cutting all the different sidewalls for our skis tip and tail bumpers and we make all the fixtures in house um for actually making the skis. So it's not just making the skis, it's making the part, making the tools to make the skis. So over here, Avery is sanding sidewalls. He's getting these prepped, getting them ready. We have to texture the, the surface of them for bonding and getting these ready. You can see there's a whole bundles over here for different skis that we're making. We'll come on through. We can see this is a ski core. This is a custom core that somebody made. And you can actually see this one, it has to be finished. A little bit of material has to be cut off. But once we get to that, we get that point, get that trimmed off, we're gonna laminate the sidewalls onto the core. And this is almost ready to be pressed here. We need a little bit of treatment. It needs to be cleaned, but we have pockets in here. We put magnesium in our cores on some of the skis. We have fiberglass, extra fiberglass that goes underfoot. So you have a rock solid platform um, for mounting your skis. Uh, over here, Frankie is getting these things prepped. There's a lot, of, a little bit of art. We gotta get everything cleaned up. Keeping these things as thin as they are and not breaking, that's that's an art form. It's in, there's there's nothing uh, nothing else to be said other than it's, it's just an art putting it together. So these are really pretty cores and that's what we go for. We have a lot of skis that show window, clear windows through the top sheet graphic and we want to make sure that we're, there's no figure joints in those skis. There's not big issues with them. We, you, you can see everything about what we do, and we're transparent about it. So behind you here, we can see this is a layup cart. So this is getting loaded for 
skis that are being made tomorrow. So we have our bases, cores, um, with sidewalls on them, tip and tail bumpers. There's about 40 pieces that go into a pair of skis. We have all the different composites, your fiberglass, carbon fiber, strips of rubber, uh, we'll have pieces of magnesium. Everything that's ready to go gets loaded onto a cart and taken over to the layup station. But before I get ahead of myself, um, we do have to show coming in where we cut our ski bases. What we do in here is we have a, a big CNC knife machine that is going to cut out the shape of a base from essentially a roll of plastic like this. This is uh, DuraSurf 4001. It's a race grade, very durable material made in Ohio. This has the shape of the ski. There's letters cut into it, so these have to be swapped out for the black letters. So a lot of our skis, we do blue and black swap is what we call it. One ski is blue, one ski is black with opposing letters. It reduces waste for us. So the if we did all black bases with white letters, we'd punch out all those black letters and they'd just go, um, they'd just go in the trash. So we want to do that as little as we can. So when we do a flip-flop swap base, we can save as much as possible. So out of there, out of this room, we'll move into the area where the edges get attached. These edges, they actually get attached to the ski. I'm gonna pull this one up, is that okay? Are you, is it cured? Yeah. So the edges are gonna get temporarily adhered to the base. So you can start, it actually starts to look like a ski base now, if you look at the bottom side. But in the inside, there's all these teeth that hold the epoxy keys in around everything and that just holds everything in place. So over here with Papa John, my father John here, new skis for this year. The Mohawks, they're a, they're, they went through a year of development and it's a ski that we've been working, you know, we've been working on for a while and um, they've gone over really well. So this is a really beautiful core here. This is Ash and Aspen, sidewalls laminated. He's laying carbon down on the ski so there's a layer of fiberglass you get the base fiberglass carbon fiber strips of rubber everywhere this ski then is going to have a core it's going to have magne nano mag magnesium inserts in the core fiberglass it has actually carbon reinforced pockets that are milled out of the core to reduce weight um, and then everything is going to get sandwiched together in another 15 minutes skis will be done and loaded into a press and then we do everything really modularly so that we can quickly change between models. So the next one coming out might be a Dynamic 105 and a 180. Or a Brockway 100 and a 180. So depending on what we're set up for. Essentially at this point though, the skis have gone from 40 plus pieces. And once they come out of the press, they are going to be one. Then cut back up into, into two. But at that point, we're gonna swing around. Finishing carts are nearly empty, which is a great sign. We've been trying to get through this backlog. Um, we have here a Mohawk 98 that was pressed um, just this morning. You can see this actually has a custom Northern Lights graphic on it. Looks really slick. And here's our printing room where we actually make ski top sheets. So we're gonna go through a design process print out a transfer and we're going to sublimate the graphics into the plastic so it's sitting in the plastic not on top of it so if it gets scratched in that the graphic doesn't come off so these are ski graphics when they're done some of them have clear areas so that we can actually see through to the wood core some of them are solid some of them have certain areas that are solid and some of them that have graphics that are clear um, this is pretty cool. We've got another local ski builder in town who makes a couple pair a year and we're able to make graphics for him, which is awesome. And here's our Uber plaid graphics. So anyway, the, the, uh, the options are endless when it comes to graphics. We can really do just about anything we print digitally. So give us your ideas and we'll come up with a graphic for you. Either that or send us your graphics and we'll put it on skis. In our machine finishing area, this is where skis go from that one piece, get cut apart, and turn into something that actually looks like a ski. So over here, Jesse is sanding these tips and tails, getting everything to the right size, and they look like skis now. So 
We'll come through here in this process. Skis go, again, like I said, they turn into something that looks like skis, but then they gotta go into the base finishing area where we're gonna go through grinding on about four different belts to get the bases as flat as possible, but then we're gonna take them and go into our automated stone grinding machine to get a really, really smooth, perfect base on those edges. We're gonna do ceramic disc tuning of the edges so they are sharp and smooth and very predictable. I mean, this is a, this is a world-class machine that is going to tune every ski that goes out the door. So that's a really new, it's a new addition in the last year and a half. Um, that is a really, uh, it's a really big leap for us. You know, it's taking our small company and we're, we're over here competing with the big dogs. So we've got to play in their realm in our small factory. So it's, you know, we have the CNC and automated equipment to help our, our handmade skis be try to be the best in the world so once they come out of this room we're going into into hand finishing where we are going to detune skis wax skis when we have an oops we're going to work on it um some of these fun carvers here accidentally um had the protective tape that's on the top sheets peeled off too early and then the marker I can just laugh about it because the marker comes off, but uh, they literally got written on the skis. So we are cleaning that off, um, but stuff happens in a small shop. It's, you know, if we would have done this video a day ago, we would have never seen anything like this. I've never seen it before and I will never see it again, but sometimes stuff happens, so. So now we're into our shipping area where skis, as soon as they're done, they're bagged up, they come onto a cart and we ship them out straight to you. This is really cool because as soon as they come out, I mean three, four, five days later, maybe even less, the skis go from our shop to your front porch. So, you know, there's not really any lag time. It's pretty cool. So as you can see, we're a small shop here, small crew. We're really proud of what we do. We build skis here in Northern Michigan, USA. We do everything in-house and we source all of our materials as locally as possible. So. You know, if you're in the area, stop by, say hi, chat about skis. We want to get you on the right thing. If you're not in the area, give us a call. Send us an email, chat on our website, something through social media. You can get a, get a hold of us in all the ways, and uh, we're happy to talk to you. So thanks for watching this factory tour. Hope to see you on the slopes, and thanks, Snow.